Hey everyone, my name is Jax. Welcome to my video where I'm just going to showcase uh, my new script that I made uh, for free on my GitHub. It's a UI creator. Uh, it uses HTML, JavaScript, and uh, CSS to kind of make the UI. Um, but before this video continues, I do want to let everyone know that I have a Discord. If you do want to join a Discord and chat and play Minecraft and get help on 5M support, things like that, uh, the link will be in the description. If you don't want to, I just want to let you know that I am posting on the community tab on my channel. So even though if you don't join my Discord, you get announcements and things of when I'm posting, you can see it on the community tab in YouTube. With that being said, um, the UI creator, like I said, was created in JavaScript and CSS. The index HTML part is more of just to stitch it all together. Um, so I'll, in this video, I'm just going to go through the installation process and just go over a little bit of how it works and what it does. If you guys want to see more uh, videos on this and kind of more explaining on it, uh, please let me know by leaving a like on this video. And if we get it to 20 likes, I will do a whole series on HTML and JavaScript. So with that being start, uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys how to download the script. So I'll put this link in the description below. I'm just calling it my 5M UI creator. Just on GitHub, you just press code and download zip, or you can download through GitHub Desktop. It's easier if you do GitHub Desktop. So I'm gonna go through GitHub Desktop and I'm just gonna clone it to my resources. So if I just go here, select folder, clone, go, minimize that, exit out of that. Um, in my resources folder, you can see where I have it right here. I am going to open with Visual Studio Code. And now here are pretty much all the files. I have a whole readme if you wanna go through the readme. Um, it kind of shows you how to make an NUI callback and how everything kind of works. Um, but we're gonna go over the kind of HTML uh, JavaScript stuff. So uh, starting out with the HTML, this is where you're going to put your files. Uh, so uh, main.js is kind of just like an example file. Um, if you were to make more than one UI, you basically just copy this at the top. You copy in the UI manager, create button, fetch an UI, and the use UI event. So UI Manager uh, allows you to create the UI in uh, JavaScript using HTML, but it, like in JavaScript, not in the HTML file. And this allows you to uh, make multiple UIs across different files. So if you copy up here and put it in another JavaScript file, you basically just copy and paste this and just change the main.js name. And then if you want to upload your, or use your own styling, you can make a new styling file and name it whatever, just put it in here. You can actually load more than one. That's why it's, this is uh, an array. So you can put a comma and I can put like style2.css, et cetera. Um, this code that I have right here, it's just a simple banking UI. Um, I do have an extension. Uh, it is called live server. So this allows you to kind of open uh, your HTML code into like a website uh, on localhost. So if I go live right now and I go in and I show you guys, this is basically the UI that you, that you started with. So all this right here is this, this little square, this is banking and banking balance and whatnot. Um, that's pretty much what it does. So it, from there, once you code this and you have a basic understanding of what's going on, um, and you have if you have a basic idea of HTML and JavaScript, you can kind of piece everything together. So ID close button, you can you create a button, close button, and then this is the any UI callback that you call, and then you know any uh, parameters that go in here. Um, and then the rest is just a function that will eventually hide the UI. Um, UI Manager has a list of functions. So I'm gonna go to the UI.js file and you have the load custom styles, which this will load all of your uh, style sheets, so your CSS files. And then create UI is from uh, here. So 
you put your name of your UI, it can be called anything. So I just called this banking UI. And then after the name, that is when you're actually like coding the HTML. So it takes whatever you took, whatever you coded, and you it just kind of pieces it together, right? And then it initially hides the UI, but you have to um, you have to actually show the UI, actually make it appear in game. And um, scrolling down, we have the show UI, which just takes the uh, ID is what it's called, just the name of the UI. So right here I have show UI banking UI, which translates to this. So show UI shows the UI. If it fails for some reason, it'll tell you that it failed. So it didn't find it. Um, hide UI just does the opposite of show, just hides the UI if it's not already hidden. Remove UI completely removes it from uh, from the DOM. So it, it's no longer a valid UI that you can use. Um, update text will uh, basically say it takes the ID. So from this example right here, update text bank balance, it takes the ID bank balance. And this is the text right here. You update it ID. And then this is the text. So I did on the back end set display a pass through data cash bank balance so dollar sign and then bank balance and then it updates in game so in this sense it would update this line right here that's the banking uh, ID and then um, going down here's some global styles so if you wanted to make something like a close button you know that you know all of your UIs use the same style close button you don't really want to redefine it each time you can add it in here. So dot hidden is one of the files that this is dot hidden is used to hide the UI. It doesn't actually like remove it from the DOM. It just hides it. So it just sets the display to nothing. Um, and then down here, here are some really important functions that are exported. So create button, you create a button, uh, you use the button ID of the, from the uh, here. So if I wanted to make like bank balance a button, I would do create button and then the bank balance ID. So for this example, we use close button, ID close button right here. Um, the next part is that it is a, an NUI event. So it's optional. If you want to use an NUI event, um, then you type out the event name. It is case sensitive and it has to match. Otherwise, it just won't be called. Um, or you can put null here and uh, it won't do anything. It'll just be like a UI button. Um, and then this right here, uh, is any of the data that you want to send to the uh, back end and then the rest is just a function so anything after pressing the button will have so if I press close button it'll call this NUI callback and then it'll print this and hide the UI. Um, the next thing is uh, use NUI event so use NUI event just listens so right here just, it just listens for set display um, it's it pretty much just like registering it so um, if you have this and you call the set display callback in the or uh, I'm sorry not callback uh, the NUI message in the back end then this will be triggered and it'll just it'll it'll know what to do so basically I got window I just replaced window at add event listener with use NUI event so it's just easier to type out instead of typing all of this mumbo jumbo um, the last thing is fetch NUI. So fetch NUI just triggers a registered NUI callback on the back end. So instead of typing all this out, you just type this. Um, you do the NUI uh, name. So if I did, uh, if I did something like uh, under create button, uh, I know it already calls it here, but if I wanted to call something else, I would do fetch NUI, and then I would do like I don't know, Jax's NUI DB. And then if I wanted the pass through data in here, I do curly bracket and then whatever data goes in here, maybe I do like uh, data is uh, one. And then if I just register the same name in the client.lua file and I just listen for it. And once once I press the close button, this will be triggered. And then I can print, you know, data dot data dot you know, data dot data and it'll print one or whatever I put in here. So um, that is like pretty much the whole ordeal, I guess. If I wanted to make multiple UIs, like I mentioned before, 
um, I can demonstrate that real quick. So if I wanted to do like money HUD, for example, I just make a money HUD JavaScript file. And then in main.js, I just copy this and paste it in here. You don't have to make this UI manager. I just wanted to call it UI manager just because. Um, but once you import all this from UIJS, uh, you want to make sure that the uh, HTML actually renders it. So just copy and paste this and change this to your uh, new file name. So money HUD, money HUD. Yes. That way the HTML loads the script. And then let's say like I, if I wanted to make like a like a text, I just do UI manager, create UI, and then I do the bank, uh, the name. So I do Jax UI, and then anything after it is uh, just uh, back quotes. So um, if I did uh, da, 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 if I did oh I forgot the thing right here. here go so if I did I just did something simple like let's say header one and then x is y and then just one and then in the live demonstration it's not shown because it's hidden by default but if I did UI manager show UI and then I did the name Jack's UI saved so you can now see Jack's UI's header one that's literally it so if you want to play around with just regular HTML and JavaScript and CSS um, you can absolutely do that if this is aimed at people who think that like React is too much, or they're not really at the stage of learning React yet, or they just want to simply mess around with JavaScript. I just made this boilerplate type thing just to make it easier for people because I tried to learn it and I just got super confused. But once I made this, I can use this all day long. And you can you can make as many UIs as you want in one script. So you can make this and I made this and it's super simple. I can even show down here, I made um, I made a whole banking UI, and I made a uh, a character UI. And if you haven't seen my live streams, I can put them in the description for you guys. You can definitely see what I'm talking about. But I literally created this just by using my boilerplate. It deposits money, it withdraws money, transfers, savings, all that stuff. It all freaking works. It takes it uses the exact same method as this and i have multiple uis i have one for character i have one for a spawn i have one for the actual banking i have it all and since this, this is regular javascript you can you can do functions you can do const you can do variables you can do whatever you want and then you can put it into html this is just html code and then whatever styling you have you can just make your own styling so money hud uh, css and then all you have to do is just put it in in here and you would just do money HUD CSS and then you can make like your own whole sim a whole system and then all you have to do is just whenever you make new files you have to remember put in an HTML and put it in the FX manifest you don't really have to put it in the FX manifest because it it just highlights all the files and under NUI um, but mainly HTML. If you ever mess with the uh, FX manifest and you kind of define each and every file, and because something, if in case something doesn't work or something is not works, uh, just make sure you mainly put it in now. Um, and then just, I just want to go over the back end real quick. If I did like register command UI, this is how you send the NUI message. So you can send any amount of data you want. And this is the data and data.action, data. .action, data cash balance and bank balance and it'll it'll know and this is the close in UI um, you don't need the JSON encode apologize that that is there it's not needed I'll have to update that but this is only when you're using the lowercase in UI which I didn't mean to have but you guys get pretty much the idea um, like I said at the beginning if you guys want more of like a in-depth tutorial on how to go over this stuff because i'm going over it kind of quick if you want more of like an extended look at this um just get this video to 20 likes and I'll, I'll make something for you guys that's gonna be pretty much it for this video i just really wanted to 
really put this out there because I think this is like super freaking cool. Um, and uh, I hope I hope a lot of people uh, use it. Um, all I ask is that if you do use it, please uh, star it on my uh, my GitHub. Just just because that's kind of a common courtesy thing to do, I guess. Um, it's just to star it. But uh, that's going to be all for me. Uh, again, Discord link in the description if you want to join, chat, play Minecraft, know when I post. Or if you don't, check out the community post tab on my YouTube and uh, you guys are doing good. So I will be decent out. So goodbye.